Hello, this is Auke, and uh, I want to um, go through the plugin and go through the settings of the plugin so you uh, know how to set up a feed, start a feed, a basic feed setup. Alright, product feed manager. Um, at the moment when you install it, uh, you don't have channels actually. So, uh, to, in order to create a new feed, you need to add channels. Uh, I will do that actually. So, sorry, you get a notice that you need to add channels. So, you open the manage channel section. And um, you can choose the channels you would like to start with. Uh, when you have the, uh, the Google only uh, version, then you don't have to choose channels because there is only one channel and that's the Google Merchant Center. So I'll install the Google Merchant Center for this video and going to product feed manager opening that one button add new feed so you start with giving it a file name Google uh, and, and I create this feed for the Dutch market uh, Google, so I call it Google NL selecting Google Merchant Center target country well Netherlands of course the Netherlands Netherlands default category um, apparel because I won't will only put the clothings there uh, so this is my default category um, I'll do it like that clothings and then actually I can change uh, the category for the um, more specific, uh, more in depth category. So, apparel, clothings, uh, outerwear, uh, well, probably I need to select here something different. I haven't got a clue what, but you get the idea. Uh, T-shirts will have their own category, like uh, pro clothing. Um, Shirts and tops. So, like that. So, I don't have to select all the categories in the category mapping. So, the categories I'm not selecting won't show up in feed. So, uh, the music, the albums, and the singles won't show up in the feed as long as I don't select them. Update schedule. Actually, uh, you have to. Uh, you can set it um, like a cron job. Uh, set it every uh, day or um, uh, two o'clock in the uh, in the evening, in the morning actually. Uh, so, 
and then I can leave this as is and then it's already working so save and generate feed and it is already uh, filled with the uh, required uh, uh, what, which is required for for Google so all the required field uh, probably you need to set this to false or true false you know if, if you don't have uh, the GT number for instance uh, you can just put this set this to false and then uh, 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 it will Google will get this right then there are all other kind of uh, kind of fields you can fill in uh, the recommended fields all kind of recommended fields and optional fields all possible to fill uh, and the use but we will cover that in another video this is the basic setup uh, you don't really have to do any more so this is it save and generate feed you go to the feed list update schedule remember that one activate and activating means it will uh, it will uh, uh, update the feed every two o'clock uh, depending on the uh, uh, update schedule you have selected before so that's it